Hi folks, Matt here from The Mountaineering Company. Uh, in today's video, I wanted to talk with you about how to tie alpine coils, and that's the ones that sort of sit over the top of your rucksack so you can carry the rope to and from the crag, um, or you know, if you're just leaving and walking out to the mountains. And also look at uh, rucksack coils as well, on how to make a little bit of a rucksack out of the rope. So if you're at the top of the route and you want to walk back down to the bags or get down to the bottom of the route, you've got a little bit of a method so it keeps your hands free and stops the rope sort of uncoiling and falling over the floor. So hope you enjoyed today's video and uh, yeah make sure you give our YouTube channel a subscribe. The first method I'm going to talk to you about is the alpine coils. I really like this method, um, but it does have its limitations. Um, it's really useful for sort of shorter ropes, so 50, 40 metres or less works really well because you're going to coil it with a single strand rather than using a double strand. So you start off with a strand of rope, take the end of the rope like that, you're going to just pop it over your head and you're going to just make a sort of a, 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 a strand in front of you and just whip it over the top of your head and you're going to keep doing that all the way through you can see if this was a longer rope say 60 or 70 meter this would be quite a long task and then when we get to around about sort of two meters three meters of, of tail there we're going to take the rope from around the head and I'll do a, a little close-up of this as well and what we're going to do here is we're going to take a little loop there and another little loop just there and then we're going to coil the rope over the top like so. So we've created like a couple of little bunny ears and we're going to just keep coiling the rope over like that, trying to keep it sort of as central as we can. And keep going around and then when the tail gets to about that sort of length, when it's nice and short, pop it through one of the loops and then pull the other loop like so and you'll see that cinches it up nice and neat and then you can pop that onto the back of your rucksack just onto there so a nice neat easy way of carrying the rope downsides to this method if you were to just undo the rope and throw it on the floor and try and uh, tie onto the rope it would probably tangle up so the easiest way is just to unravel it like so and then lay the rope down flat on the ground like so and then you can sort of flake the rope into a nice little uh, little pile and then you're ready to go from there but don't just sort of throw the rope on the floor or else it'll just tangle up into a, into a cluster into a snake's wedding Great stuff. So the next method is the uh, the rope coil backpack or the coil backpack, whatever you want to call it. Um, and it's just a method of carrying the rope off the top of the crag or getting to the crag. If you haven't got a, a rucksack on, uh, you can sort of stick it over your shoulders and tie it to your body. So starting off with the middle of the rope. Now this rope doesn't have a middle marker, so I've flaked out the, the tails into a pile and I've ended up with the middle. But if you've got a new rope, it'll have a couple of black markers on there just to show the halfway point. Uh, sometimes with this method as well, it's worthwhile putting your, your hood up on your jacket just to stop the uh, coils from sort of tangling inside your, your jacket. But start off with that. We're gonna put a, a loop over our head, put another one in front of us and pop that over the top. We're just gonna keep doing this like so and repeating. Now if you find that you're, you've got a bigger rope, because you can do this with 50 or 60 or 70 metre rope, if you find that you're getting to this point and you can't hold on any more rope, I mean this is only a short rope, but if you, you've got quite a long one it might be too hard to hold. So then you can start to do it like this, where you can just pop the coils over your head if you need to. And then when we get to, similar to the last sort of system, when we get to around about 3 metres of tail, um, we'll take it from over our head. Obviously this is only a short rope, but it still works really well for this, uh, this method. We're going to take the rope, we're going to go round the hand and coil it upwards and I'll do a close-up of this one as well, over the top like so. And normally about three times just to keep it together. And then we pull our arm through. Now sometimes you'll find if you've got a watch on it can be a bit hard to get your arm out so you have to push the coils down a little bit. Get to this point, throw it over your head, take the loops around the back like that and then if you've done it right you'll be end up with just the right amount of tails and then you can tie off it with any knot like so and then you can carry it off the top of the crag 
nice and simple, simple design and, and works with all length of rope, anything from 30, 40 upwards uh, up to sort of 70, 80 metre ropes you could do this with. So it works nice and uh, quickly as well because uh, you're using two strands when you're coiling. Um, and yeah, a really good method for carrying the rope off the crag. So I hope you enjoyed today's video about how to um, tie alpine coils on a rucksack and how to make a rucksack rope. Uh, if you enjoyed the videos, make sure you give the YouTube channel a like and uh, subscribe. And also check out our website www.themountaineeringcompany.co.uk for information about all the courses and events that we run throughout the year.